Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at this product here. This is the Kunist mesh grill insert for your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. We'll get this installed on the vehicle today, see how it works, and we'll see if it's something that you should buy for your vehicle. Hit that subscribe button, stay tuned. We'll be right back. everybody well welcome back so we have this really nice product here from Kunist and it is a mesh grill insert for the Tesla Model 3 now they also make this for your Tesla Model Y as well so if you're interested in either of those vehicles make sure you look down in the description below we'll have separate links there for each of these mesh inserts whether you have a Model 3 or a Model Y but this is a really cool product, a really easy product to install on your vehicle because it just basically snaps into the front grill area of your vehicle. Now, the reason I like this product is because of a few reasons, actually. Uh, one, it does have a little bit of a nice style to it, so it does change the front look of your vehicle a little bit. The other thing I like about it is that it does have this mesh netting inside of the grill cover here. And what's nice about that is that depending on where you live, you may come across seasons that drop a lot of leaves, road debris, anything like that on the road that you can very easily pick up on the very low spot of the front of your Tesla. And so this is kind of one of those things that helps you prevent any of that from getting in there and getting wedged in there against your radiator. So I really like the design of this because of that fact alone. Now what I did before I started this review today is I took a look inside of that area of my vehicle down low and I tried to see if there was anything already in there from driving the car for almost a year now and there were quite a few leaves and also uh, a little piece of wood and a, a bunch of little pebbles and rocks that got wedged in there and they're actually getting pushed up against the radiator itself of the vehicle which is not exactly good because you don't want anything to really get wedged in there and potentially damage the radiator of the vehicle so the reason i like this is because this will help keep out any of those uh, little pieces of debris that can get in and potentially damage that area. Uh, even bugs as well. You'll get a lot of bugs that wedge themselves up against, you know, your radiator of your vehicle, but instead they'll get wedged up against this mesh and never make it to that part of your vehicle. So I really do like the design of that. So not only is this good for protection, but it's also good for just keeping the car cleaner, and making sure you don't have to worry about fishing stuff out from inside of there. Now, one of my concerns with this product, putting it on my vehicle was, does it restrict any airflow that gets into the radiator? Now, I could see that it could probably restrict some airflow that gets into the radiator, but honestly, I can't imagine it restricts it very much. In fact, the one thing that would restrict your airflow a lot worse is getting a lot of debris and leaves everything wedged into there right up against the radiator, I feel like that would be a lot worse off than a product like this that you could very easily clean the front of this off and clean the mesh out every once in a while. And then this way you never have to worry about things getting wedged really far in there for you to have to fish out. In fact, trying to fish out the few leaves that were wedged in there on my car was actually quite a bit of a pain. And it's not something I wanna do very often, but at least with this, I know it's gonna be really easy to just spray it down, wash it out, and it'll be easy to maintain over the course of its life. Now, let's go ahead and get this installed on the vehicle. It's a very simple process, and uh, we'll see how it looks when we're done. All right, so it's a very simple process to get these installed. It's just two pieces. You put the left one in first, and the left one is the one that has the two holes here in the center, and then the right one is the one that has the two pieces here, and then they overlap like so. It uses these nice snaps on the back to just snap into the already existing plastic that's there. So really there's no screws. You don't need anything special to do this. It's a very simple process just to uh, push this into place, and that's it. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put this down, and let's go ahead and just snap this into place real quick. And that's that, so that one's done. Let's go ahead and grab the second one here. We'll just check them all. All right, simple as that, easy install. Let's get some close-ups of this and see how it looks. 
All right, everybody, well, there you go. There is the Kunist mesh grill insert for the Tesla Model 3, and once again, also available for the Tesla Model Y. Links are down in the description below, so you can take a look for your Model 3 or your Model Y if you have one. Well, I really like this product. I think it looks really good. It's also one of those things that changes the look of your car just a little bit as well, kind of separates it from all the other cars that are out there. So I really do like this product. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, you know, cleaning it out every once in a while and not trying to have the fish stuff out from way down deep next to the radiator. And, uh, you know, hopefully this also prevent some damage from happening to the radiator because you never know when a rogue rock might come up and sneak through those fins and actually go all the way to the radiator. Definitely don't want something like that to happen. It sounds like it could be a really expensive fix. But anyway, I'm glad I got this on the car and I'd like to thank Kunis for sending this out to me for review. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's episode. If you like this product, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up just below. And of course, if you're interested in the product, take a look at the product down in the description below, along with all of our website and social media links. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. And remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to tech motoring. We'll see you soon.